yes, we are finally on a road trip and uh, this is a familiar face. As you can see, it's Ari. So he's the boss of Nimber actually. And um, we're gonna go on the road trip together again. This is the second time, but things didn't go as planned <laughs> and we are still in Oslo. <laughs> so to make a uh, long story very short, Optimus Prime is down waiting for uh, parts from Fremont and um, we couldn't get another more legs because we had to get a more legs because I have lots of stuff in the trailer uh, so we ended up with a fossil yeah this is kind of defeat but on the other way on the other hand <coughs> we're gonna do a, do a trip now it's it's actually a, a very like a, a common trip so you guys have seen it many times but we're gonna do it in a fossil so it'll be interesting to see how how bad it is <laughs> or how good it is we don't know yet <laughs> Well, we're going to find out, but... Uh... Yeah, but uh, we, we have to skip some parts. Let's, for instance, sleeping in the car. No, not possible. I don't want to freeze to death. I don't want to die of CO2 poisoning. No, no we have to <laughs> put the engine on, right? Carbon monoxide, yeah, okay. yeah. So we will just sleep in a whatever, a motel or something. Uh, but anyway, uh, this weekend we're going to drive from Oslo via Kristiansand, Stavanger, Bergen. Is it the first time you go to Bergen? I've been to Bergen, to Bergen, Bergen, yeah. Bergen. Bergen, Bergen, Bergen as I call yeah, it, yeah. Uh, but I never drove there. Oh, I see, but it's awesome, uh, awesome landscape. And the challenge is that um, from Bergen, we will pick up uh, a Nissan, uh, what's it, Nissan uh, ENV200. You guys probably know what it is. It's a pizza car, it's a small van, electric. It has a whooping, like, basically it has like 60 to 80 kilometers of range. And uh, we're gonna swap, I guess, we, we, can, we can fight over it, who's gonna drive it. So actually, I prefer driving the electric car. Yeah, you can drive the Fossil. Well, let's take, let's take turns. Uh, I kind of want to do a little cannonball run. <laughs> I want to, you know, I want to, you know. Yeah. I want to start line and I want to see who can make it faster uh, with, uh, but you have to stop as well. Whoever's driving the yeah. Fossil has to stop as yeah. well because, uh, you know. Yeah, but anyway, um, so this car actually, this the car we have now is a, a Skoda Octavia. Uh, pretty okay, yeah, good soundproofing. A little bit of hard plastic, we'll come back to the car view later. But it will do its job, which is to uh, get us to our destination. And you know, cancelling Nimber task is out of the question. We have to, like I said in my earlier videos, I always deliver the package. Yeah, even if it means driving a fossil. Well, I mean, to be honest, I told you, may this be the worst thing that ever happens to you that uh, yeah. Optimus but, Prime is down. Oh, yeah, but R and I, we actually, we had lots of problems before we started recording. <laughs> like, we couldn't, we couldn't mount the, hit, the tow bar thingy. And then we had to go back to, back to my home to get tools. And then lots and lots of problems. Yeah, but we are on the road now. So let's enjoy it. But we also, we are like, oh, let me see, we are like four hours delayed. But the good thing is that we don't have to stop and charge. So we can eat up that uh, delay we have. So it's, so, so it's not a three course meal now. We're gonna have fast food only. Fast only. food, at least today, just to catch up. And then tomorrow we can have it, take it easy. Excellent stuff. Yeah, so um, usually, you know, our first destination would be a supercharger. Now, <laughs> let's just go to Leah or something. I'm hungry. Just have to grab something. Well, I've got a chocolate bar if you want. Or nah. you, you want real food? Yeah, something and then we can... I need drinks and stuff. So let's go to Leah. It's like half an hour from here. Okay, but only four vodkas for you, right? You're oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You All don't right. drink, do you? No, I don't drink. I, I rarely drink. All right, so off we go to our first destination. Then.
and uh, at Circle K in uh, Lee. Yeah, supercharger is right over there. Uh, we need we need a break, a short break. Food, drink, food, and drink, bathroom. restroom, whatever. Yeah. Let's do it. So at least the stop here will be only 10 minutes instead of 45 minutes. So the good thing is that we have a diesel car. We can refuel in three minutes. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we have competition here, I can see. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, uh, we're gonna... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right, let's go. Oh, yes, quick stop. Uh, I have some juice. And uh, well, we didn't get that kind of juice and a uh, sandwich. What do you get, Ari? Let's do a pecan. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Some water. Yes. Um, so, off we go. In. Oh, I think you have to reset the trip meter. Uh, Okay, so how does that again? Um, let's see, I think, you know, uh, I think I know. you have to just hold it down like this and reset. There we go. See, uh, did it reset everything? Yes, it did. Okay, okay. Uh, off we go. We are at the first stop now. Uh, this is the first delivery. Actually, the only delivery for tonight, which is a sofa. So it is in here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's freaking huge. The sofa takes up like 60% of the space in here. So we have to get some stuff out. Okay, um, yeah, let me help you. Uh, okay, I have to take it. There's a lamp. Uh, oh, yeah. oh, can you help no. me? This is a lamp. Who doesn't like a lamp? <laughs> 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 Oh, another lamp coming. Next time we do a trip in the summer when it's warmer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah but you know Regis, you like it this way. <laughs> no, I miss summer. It's yeah, I know. Too, too cold. Too crazy. Okay, so we got the couch. Where? All right, are you cold? I'm freezing. You did, did, yeah, this stuff, you know, I use it to protect the furnitures. I know, but you know what? You can protect <laughs> it me it around. It can protect me. <laughs> it's not that cold. Yeah, I know, but you, know, you guys, you guys are used to this, you know. I'm wearing my, I'm wearing my le legendary uh, jacket now. This is it. This, this, this is the one. Only. This is almost summer. Uh. But anyway, so we have to. This is a sofa. This is how big it is. <laughs> well, let's, let's get this guy a sofa. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's take out the sofa. Okay, let's do it. Well, you see, this wouldn't have been possible to fit in a Tesla. No. That's why I need the trailer. Are you okay? It's mud. You know? Yeah. You guys get lots of blankets. Okay. That one. May you guys have a lot of fun with the sofa. Yeah. <laughs> May you watch a lot of television. Yeah. <laughs> okay. There we go. There it is. Oh yeah. The couch is in place. Yeah. Good job, Ali. Good job. Perfect. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Tschüss, Tag. Hey, take care. Ciao. Yeah. Okay. 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 Bye bye. All the world. Higgly, higgly. Yeah. Whatever What's you that? say. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I just picked that up. Yeah. Okay, bye bye. Ciao. Bye bye. Take care. Hold on, hold on. All right, so uh, let's see. So now we took the heavy load the out. The trailer is almost empty now, but we, we're gonna, I think we're just gonna leave it very open because we need the space for stuff to put in here. Okay. Yeah, so we're just gonna put uh, yeah, the remains. Sure. Just put it in and make sure it's uh, all tight. All right, we have delivered. Oh, what the heck? Oh, I had to put it in gear. Oh, shit. Oh, I had to... Oh, this is stick shift with yeah. manual gear. You'll find out the hard way. It's, um... What was it again? Was it 1.5 or 1.6 liter diesel engine with a 80-something uh, kilowatt, which is equivalent to like 105... I think 105 horsepower or something, which is like half of Optimus Prime's front motor. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I haven't driven a stick shift for a while now, so um, 
but it's still there that's good whoa country with region it's going fast whoa but the light is wow light is awesome on the Skoda Octavia I have to say it's like freaking powerful uh, it seems to be German engineering German yeah Deutsch engineering yeah <laughs> do you know Do German yes I'm oh. German oh you do okay cool um, so let's see um, time now is 10 at night <laughs> we have to drive another one and a half hours to get to the next uh, yeah now we have pickup points um, so we're gonna pick up something in um, Nedenes near Arendal some car parts uh, a hood and um, a trunk uh, late, like yeah something like that okay I feel like we're like Thelma and Louise here <laughs> <laughs> but the, the trailer is almost empty now which is good okay so you're gonna get better gas consumption than I did right is that what you're trying to say yeah you you did the 8.3 something average but I'm gonna drive like a stolen car because we need to gain some uh, lost time <laughs> not, not the second gear you're not <laughs> no nope, nope. <laughs> Okay, um, yeah, so this is going to be fun, we're going to review the Skoda a little bit, <laughs> and for now, it looks okay, yeah, the car, you know, I'll get more used to it. You get used to it, I'm going to get used to a nap now. Oh yeah, yeah, you take a nap. Alright. We are now thundering down the road. Um, yeah, we're going. The next destination is Arendal. Gonna pick up some car parts, like I mentioned earlier. And time-wise, you know, even though we started like three, four hours later than we should, we're not that much delayed time-wise, <laughs> because we didn't have any charging brakes. So uh, I estimated that by the time we would get here, I would have to charge in uh, Liel and uh, Postrun. So that's like two charging stops, like one and a half hours, something total. Um, so we are only like one, two hours behind schedule right now. And you see the trip meter here. Try to adjust a little bit more to see. According to the trip meter, we have done almost 200 kilometers. We have used almost half the tank. So on a full tank, we should be able to drive like 400, a little bit over 400 kilometers, which is pretty good. Yeah, but you see, with the trailer, you don't get 1,000 kilometers range, even with a diesel car. But 400 is still <laughs> a lot better time-wise. So, um, God, this is not an opti optimal uh, situation that um, I'm in, but um, what the heck, I mean, the car is broken and yeah, it's, it's a good workaround because right now, yes, I'm happy that I, I'm in a diesel car. Because if I was in a Tesla, I would be so much delayed but of course, uh, on other circumstances, I should have been had like a backup plan, another Tesla or something, and leave on time, not three, four hours delayed. Yeah, but uh, ooh, consumption, huh. 7.6 something. And this car is supposed to use about 0.5 if it's not pulling a trailer. So we have about uh, 60, I think around 60% increase I mean it's yeah 50 60 it depends uh, highway and stuff 50 60 percent increase uh, because the trailer is kind of big so is it ex as expected We are now in uh, Nedenes near uh, uh, Arendal. We're gonna pick up uh, these two items. It's a uh, it's a hood for a Ford Thunderbird or something. It's, Thunderbird, maybe. It's yeah. freaking huge because look look at me, like it's it's almost my height. So that's very large. 
Uh, probably like 100. Okay, if Ari, if you stand next to it, and yeah. just to show you how big it is. Whoa, it's almost as tall as I. <laughs> what? That's it's, like. But it's not too heavy. Okay, but will it fit into the. Well, we're gonna find out the hard way. No, oh, okay, if we, if we light up this one. You see, we, we, we have to try to fit it in the trailer. Like, it will go diagonally somehow, but we have to fit in more items in here a bicycle and some other crap. So, actually, the worst case is we have to put this on the roof. Which we hope. Or the trailer. Which I hope we don't we don't do because <laughs> I can see that'd be that'd be <laughs> increased drag. Well, it's gonna increase a lot of things, but, <laughs> but we have we're gonna burn diesel, so we don't care about energy consumption. <laughs> well, let's make it happen. All right, let's put it in there, and we have also that's the, the hood, and we also have a uh, what do you call it um, a trunk lid. Yeah. Oh, all right, let's kind of in. kind of feels like we are thieves in the middle of the night, but we're not really, are we? Yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's oh, let's yeah. make it happen. Yeah. yeah. Um, it is 2.30 at night, <laughs> uh, we are in Sögne, which is uh, a little bit south of um, Kristiansand, yeah, and uh, we're gonna refuel, oh yeah, we gotta refuel, I don't know if I'm, why I'm parking this way, we have like 25, I was about to say we have low state of charge, but we have, <laughs> we have like, you remind me never to come on an epic road trip with you because we haven't even finished like for six hours of this <sighs> trip and it's already epic. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, whatever we can refuel later. Uh, uh, I mean, we can we can grab some food first. Yeah, let's get some uh, food. Actually, you know what? We should refuel because uh, it's that stinky diesel, and we have to wash our hands afterwards. Okay, so let's do that. Let's refuel. Let's do it. Me. Yeah, and then we go grab some food. So let's see. Uh, but I think you have to move the car. I know, but the thank is on this side or that side. The oh. charge port? No, just kidding. <laughs> uh, uh, let, me, let me see. I think it's on your side. No, it's on this side. Okay. Shh. Shh. <laughs> it's, it's your, your signature. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you have to place it. So um, and we have to get diesel. And, yeah. So we are down to like 25, 20 percent. Uh, it seems like. Um, Full tank can can gain. I mean, my can, side, right? No, my side. Oh, so your side. Yeah. Okay. A full tank will give you like 500 kilometers of range, which is actually pretty good with a trailer. So yes, this saves us a lot of time. But, However, but on the other hand, it costs money, and and like right now, we could have charged, and I'm so stressed now that I have to like hurry and stuff. So we'll see by the end of this uh, trip how it goes, but. Uh, yeah, let's fill it up. Oh, yeah, let's take the next pump here. Yeah, we got the trailer uh, does not need gas. Oh, the <laughs> oh man. So here, yeah. I, I don't know if uh, I need to show you guys this, but uh, yeah, this is like the, the fueling procedure. We have to diesel. Yeah. Oh, oh, that smell. I used to love diesel. But now I kind of hate it because Keep. it's... Uh, Keep. No, wait, well, it's open now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, let's fill it up. Refueling, I'm using a glove because it's so dirty. Yeah, let's come closer. Uh, because the sound is better when you come closer. Yeah, so um, we're actually gaining... We're actually charging very fast because if you look there, the liters go in very fast. So that's of course the advantage of using fossil fuel. But um, again, I will prove that, you know, it 
it's not that big of a difference. Yeah, actually, it matters today because we are delayed, but if everything goes as planned, then we don't have to use fossil. Because now we're gonna fill up, and then the car will just sit still for half an hour, doing nothing. <laughs> well, as, as we have a burger. <laughs> yeah, where uh, a Tesla could have been charging. Or every time we went for a restroom break or something, you know, we stopped many times, we could have charged there. 40 liters, that's it? What? I don't want to overload this thing, but... Uh... Okay, well, uh, 40 liters, 500 something nook. Okay. Well, it's, I was a bit surprised because I expected this car to have like 70 liter tank and that I would feel like at least 50 liter. I try not to spill diesel. Yeah, I'm being extra careful now. I just don't wanna... Oh, oh that schmutz! Oh. Did I say it right? Yes, you did. <laughs> schmutz! What, what the heck is... Oh. People say it's complicated to, to charge a car. This is complicated. Now I have to go pay for it. How much was it? 560... Okay, should we just... You know, we should just block the, the pump. Let's do that. Let's just do that. <laughs> it's 2.30 a.m. <laughs> this is going to come inside. <laughs> Alright, Ari, what are you having? Mm. It's a, a veggie burger. burger. It's a veggie burger. What? That looks delicious. Mm. Whoa. Well, I should have gone for the veggie burger. Also. Well, I just don't eat meat. So, there's two choices. Maybe I should try that. Yeah. Next mm. time. Try to have a chip with only vegetarian. See how that treats you. <laughs> yeah. And then my my meat, I mean, my food is the, what's it called again? Daily on the road burger or something. Roadside burger. Roadkill burger. No, not, maybe not. Roadkill. Road kill. <laughs> yeah, but, um, oh, you know, this is, hmm? this is not a very healthy no, no whatever. It's no, just, it's not. Today was messed up anyway. Mm. But we solved it. And uh, right now we are eating and doing, well, we have to eat. And we, we just refuel in three minutes and now the car is sitting there doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whatever. Yeah. Alright, let's dig in. Mm -hmm. It's cold, right? Yeah, it's cold, but it's warm inside because yeah. we just ate. But you know, it's, it's a bit embarrassing because we we ate the food, you know, and we were about to go out, and then the guy inside is like, "Hey, you know, are we not supposed to pay for the fuel?" I'm like, "Uh, uh yes, of yeah, course." I, I think that sounds right. <laughs> I, think that's I said that, you know, to my excuse, I usually drive a Tesla, and I always forget about this. It's like, yeah. Yeah, I know. It's uh, <laughs> Actually, it's true. You never pay for gas, yeah. right? So that's a. Uh, I don't have. Well, I don't. I don't even have a car these days, so I, I have another excuse for that. But, <laughs> but stealing uh, gas is wrong. Yeah. I think for everybody out there, it's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's funny. Okay. But um, it's three thirty in the morning. I think we got to go. Three thirty? Well, it's what? What? What's the time now? Seriously? Did we know. stay here one hour? No. No. Nah, we, we stop at two. Okay. Oh, three, three. Okay. Three or five. So we sorry. we spend thirty five minutes here. Um, it's 3.30 somewhere. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and we cannot sleep in the car. And it's also kind of full of shit now. I mean, full of... Uh, nim nim <coughs> uh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's important to someone. Uh, yeah. Yes, of course, of course. Um, and we are kind of in Norway, in nowhere, where... In the middle of nowhere. The, the Lyngdal Inn, I was thinking about, they, they don't open 24-7, so we just have to figure out something. We'll just drive all night. Yeah, okay, I'll do the first shift okay. then. All right.
because um, this is actually the resting area where wife and I usually sleep. Yeah, so we are dead tired. Uh, Ari's gonna sleep, <laughs> nap, whatever. Yeah, I will also nap. A little bit. Oh, it's so dark here. Yeah, I'm gonna go outside too. Yeah, there seems to be another car here. But yeah, we should just nap and figure yeah. out. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep going. Yeah, let's move ahead here. Alright, we're gonna go to the restroom and then get some sleep. I can't get any sleep. Or is snoring very loud. Mm. 